Welcome back. Today I'm going to turn a pepper grinder, but these are a little different. Georgia Backgate Industries came up with this design. It's a salt shaker on the top and a pepper grinder on the bottom. So it works just like a regular pepper grinder, but it has this cool little locking mechanism that locks it together so you can refill the pepper. And then a salt shaker, that cap just screws off so you can refill that. So I made a couple of them. I made a maple one there, and I was trying to do a uh, segmented one that like drunken uh, like Peter did that drunken cutting board I was trying to do that one but the sides just didn't come out right so I just scrapped it but I in the video I turned this one for the video and show you how to do that and then on the for installing all the hardware I have this one but they all go together the same way all right let's go ahead and get started the wood shop is sponsored by I used a roughing gouge to true it up. Once you get that done, you need to put a quarter inch tenon on each end. My parting tool is quarter inch, but if you don't have one, you're going to want to want to measure for that. Once you get those done, go ahead and put it in the chuck. And this is for the bottom of the grinder. The first bit you're going to need is inch and three quarter, and you want to go in seven eighths of an inch. Go ahead and switch bits to the inch and sixteenth, and you drill in about about two inches from the bottom. Once you get that done, go ahead and flip it around in the chuck. And this is the cup that's going to lock the salt shaker to the pepper grinder. And the first bit you need for that is inch and three eighths, and you want to go in 13 sixteenths. We're going to open this up a little bit here in a second, but the next bit you're going to need is five eighths. And you want to drill this one all the way through to the other hole that you drill from the other side. So we need to open this the cup here up a little bit because you want the lip and everything to sit flush and it has the locking mechanism that comes out from the side. So I just used the tip of a skew chisel and just kept widening it up a little bit until it fit in there perfect. Just make sure that the lip around it too is flush so when they go together there's no, uh, no gap there. Alright, let's go ahead and work on the top. Again I used a roughing gouge to drew it up. I'm going to put a quarter inch tenon down on one end. I'm going to make this a little different because I want to be able to cup out for the mushroom. If you're going to follow the instructions, put a tenon down on both ends and then you're going to need to turn a little jam chuck. About inch and a half round, about three quarter inch thick and that will be used to lock them together when you do your final turning. But I'm going to use the tenon on the pepper grinder to lock them together. So this is the bottom of the salt shaker and for that you're going to need an inch and three eighths Forstner bit and you only want to go in a sixteenth. You just need to have that lip of the cup go into that. At this point you can go ahead and part them. I would leave yourself a little bit of room for the top of the salt shaker. Don't make it too thin. The first one I did was a little bit thin than I, where you drill in the, for the holes. So go ahead and part that off. Clean up the face of the, what will be the top of the salt shaker and you're going to need an inch and a half Forstner bit and only go in half an inch and that's for the female threads. Once you have that done you can put the bottom of the salt shaker on and you would have a tenon on there but mine's a recess so I just expanded the chucks and this and again it's an inch and a half Forstner bit and half an inch deep. And then the instructions come with a template so I just used double sided tape stuck it on there and drilled out for the salt shaker holes on the drill press. Once you have the holes drilled out, go ahead and screw the cap back on, put the base back on, put it back on the lathe and do your final turn.
kit for this. I already opened one up, but I'll show you this real quick. So it comes in a little tube. Actually, when you're done with the pepper grinder, you can put it right back in there for shipping. Comes with all the instructions, just step by step on on everything. So that's nice, and they're all shrink wrapped in there, all little parts, so don't lose them or end up short. Which is nice. So to put this thing together, the pepper shaker's already together. We glued in the, the threads for that. So there's two little parts, and this is what locks the salt shaker to the pepper grinder. A slick little setup. It has that little ring where we opened the, the top of this up a little bit. It has a groove in there. These little pins here just go right in there. Slide in this little ring. Twist it around. Now you come to the next one. Or past it. And put the other one in. Just slides in there like that. Spin this around it expand so they don't come out and then you after we get them bolted on they lock together like that then you can grind your pepper and it, and they don't come apart so this little guy goes in there has two little holes on the bottom there we're going to go ahead and put in these little screws And then for the bottom of the salt shaker, this one goes in there. Try and keep this straight and drill. All right. That goes together like that. All right, so the first thing you do is put in the little locking ring and that just kind of keeps everything lined up. this little guy, the spring, the wide part of it goes up. So this one goes on first. And the wide, wide part goes up and seats down in there. This little guy here gets pressed right down onto there. Just like that. Slide all of this together. It comes right through the hole in the center there. Okay, we need to cut off the bar now. So you can make these taller or shorter, but it, that little rod goes into there, and that's how you grind the, grind the pepper. But we need to cut it off because it's a little bit too long. So I'll just take a pin. Don't cut it off too short down in there. Maybe leave it a, a quarter of an inch from the, from the top there so that it doesn't hit. Part. Spare snips will do it. A piece of sandpaper, real quick, but it doesn't need much. It cuts it cuts it pretty clean. All right, I'm gonna put it together real quick to make sure it's short enough. Together. There we go. It fits together nice. Okay. And that's, I'm pushing on the bottom of it to where it's, it's bottom, or it's <clears throat> seated in there all the way, which no pepper will come out at that point. So if I have enough room at that point, then as you move it out to, or adjust it to the grind you like, it'll be fine. And you can take the spring out too if, when you're doing this if it's... A little awkward, but it's not too bad. There we go. And then that little knob right there, that adjusts how much pepper comes out. Locks together just like that. There we go. And this one's nine inches tall, and I use elm for the base on that. It's just a slick design he came up with to lock them together like that. You have salt and pepper together. I'll put a link down below in the description to a website where you can go check them out. And he gave me a couple extras, so I'm going to go ahead and give those away on the follow-up on Monday. And the three I made, I'm going to go ahead and put up on my Etsy store. Hopefully I'll be able to figure out the, the drunken one. It's just the pattern on the side 
it doesn't look good. So maybe if I make a box or something, maybe put a solid piece on the inside, that might work. But well, I'll, I'll, hopefully I can figure it out. All right, if this is your first time here, I have a new project video every Friday. I hope to see you there. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Take care.